Hello everybody, it's the Attractionist. So I am here with a kind of short video. So as you guys know, I didn't post anything for this past weekend because I really didn't have anything to say and my womb channel, I feel like I have more stuff to talk about for that. So I just went ahead and did it. So this video is gonna be pretty short. <laughs> it's about my like altar and spiritual practice being like a little bit changed or changing it up so to speak there we go that's a better way of saying it right so it's changed in that I mean yeah I decorated and stuff like that um but it's changed in that one I may not be showing you guys too much of my altar space anymore um just because i think it might start to be a real working altar and i just kind of want the energy to not you know be out there um i try not to show you guys when there's candles lit or anything like that because i just have you know it's like a portal type thing um and i just want to keep that energy going two i had like a money kind of altar type thing going However, what I realized about that is that I personally, like I was thinking about it and I personally feel like my ancestors would like me to just actually show up with the results, right? Like instead of putting money on the altar to like talk to them or to petition or like whatever, to actually go out there, do the project and then bring a tangible piece of that project back to the altar and that way it's kind of like um i mean they see you out in the world doing the stuff but you brought back the fruit of what you actually did and put it on the altar and that is the kind of bargaining chip so to speak because it's like you've already shown that you're willing to put in the work and so there's a tangible piece of your efforts and there's more of a guarantee of you like going ahead and producing results or following through with what you said right because a lot of us we want to do a lot of things and we do ancestral work or we work at altars but we may not be as consistent and we may not be as forthcoming about who we really are in terms of our work um, ethic and work dedication to something seeing things through and so there's no point in me putting money in my altar I need to put in the actual tangible results so like if I say I want to do like I have an example if I want to make um, an oil right an oil then I need to follow through and make the oil and then put it on the altar right like if I want to start like making oils like let's say okay i want to sell oils it's a real goal but i want to sell oils well i need to actually make an oil put it on the altar and then like offer that up and that way i'm able to show i have done something i would like my endeavor to be profitable and it seems like that's kind of the messaging that i got that i need to not just ask for things and then like put physical money but I need to exchange my literal labor to bring things into fruition because a lot of my ancestors were laborers um, I'm African American so like they were laborers <laughs> in terms of slavery they were laborers in terms of like post slavery that's basically what they did like work physical labor and so for me it seems like the physical labor aspect the physical doing aspect is what is desired more than the money because the physical labor is you're exchanging that and because you're exchanging it you're most likely gonna like you're not gonna pay your way off you're not gonna buy your way in essentially is what the energy is coming across as so because I'm not gonna buy my way in that way I have to like buy my way in by labor and it seems like that's going to be rewarded a lot more and that's how I'll communicate with my <laughs> ancestors a lot better another thing that I am getting interested in and I put this on my womb channel I already started it and I might make another channel so many channels right um, but I am starting to grow things I wanted to grow like plants and plant life and just things like that so essentially I will be 
doing that and that is also an ancestral kind of reading that I want to start exploring because I think it's necessary for where I'm trying to go to grow things because I want to be like yes I'm a massage practitioner but an energetic plant herbalist um, I do feel like I'm specializing on timeline hopping and clearing and womb work because I'm very interested in timeline hopping and, and womb work in general and um, if you know like if you've ever like talked to me you know who you are um, you know that I'm interested in timelines I'm interested in large energies I'm interested in larger um, like things so yeah <sighs> So yeah, I think that that is about it. I'm going to do another video. I am going to try and incorporate the tarot ancestry thing. I'm going to start reading with that. I do, I'm going to make another video after this about one of my decks. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one and then go to the next one. So thank you for watching this. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.